Ooh. Look. Look. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Smoking on that goofy, getting high like a Martian. He think he tough, but he's really harmless. If I catch him out at Walmart, he gonna be a target. Look, all these bras are stupid. Yeah, I can't love no hoe. I might shoot at Cupid. The Twin Towers fell. It was inscrupulous. Holy, holy moly. I don't know why I always end up talking about the towers. <laughs> it seems to be just one riff away whenever, whenever I try to freestyle. It always just comes back. All the different paths lead back to the towers. I don't know why, you know, something just the way God made me. It's just the way the Lord programmed the twink. Anyways, what up, what up? Hope everybody chilling. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing good. This is the Twink, Gerbert Johnson. There's no script in these videos. I just go off the top of the dome. Um, so that's what it is, my baby. And today what we got is a question. And when it comes to these questions, look, I, I make jokes about you know, Papa having infinite knowledge, et cetera, you know, having all the answers. Obviously, this is a farce. This is just, it's what they, it's what they call irony, right? I'm just being quirky and ironic and just, you know, just being gay, jacking off dudes, you know, doing that kind of thing. So really what, uh, really what I'm, really what the, the ironic joke is here is that I don't know anything, okay? These videos are meant to be descriptive. They're meant to describe things, how I'm feeling, how other people are feeling. They're meant to relate and provoke thought. They're not meant to give you all the answers. Because what if there aren't any answers? And what if you're supposed to create your own answers? They're just, uh, they're just here to describe and to, to entertain. So here's the question here. Let's pull that John right on up. Okay. Uh, there was another message before this, but I could, it was hard to fit all of it in, and I don't want to, so, I cut out his name. You can see he's the broccoli, she has the broccoli chilling in the hot tub avatar, which was great. But here we go. Almost all of my interactions with women have been negative, like they have ill will. I'm not a incel or a misogynist. We still have time. But is it just me that views women as the aggressors? Like, I feel like they've just received so many compliments over time that they can't help it but to dress revealing and have big egos because that provokes a positive response from down bad guys. I really feel like most women in our generation put all their value into their looks. Like, they don't work on having a good personality or being a good person with morals. But when you go on NoFap for so long, in the previous message he described how he has a long streak, I believe, and you stop valuing people's looks, it feels like they have nothing to put on the table. Like most of them have toxic personalities and dress like hoes, and I'm just no longer feeding them the satisfaction of compliments. <clears throat> so there you go. That's the message. Um, I've thought things like this. I've gotten messages like this. As a result, Daddy decided to, to talk about it. And it's just this thought you have, you know, because very clearly we're dealing with this thing where people are sort of, uh, the dating, the dating scene is no bueno. Lots of dudes, um, end up having tough luck or no luck at all. And when this happens, it's very easy to build up resentment. And is this resentment completely unfounded? Because I've felt it. And, you know, f to a certain degree, like, disliking or finding the other gender annoying or, like, um, whatever, not understanding them is pretty normal. Like, girls do that, too. It's not just like, oh, these incels hate. It's like, girls do that, too. Like, uh, all men are blank. Like, everybody, there's just, you know, there's a certain level of disliking or whatever, making fun or goofing. 
kind of just hating on the other gender that's just kind of fun and cute and we should all do it, you know. I just hate broads as much as the next guy. I'm not like, I'm not like really pinting up any hate. Although, you know, it definitely can happen. But anyways, that's just, that's just on the outset. I think a lot of people are overreacting about like incels if they build resentment. It's like everybody does that shit. Like, shut up. You know, you're just being like, yeah, obviously they don't get any puss. They're going to be a little, they're, you know. If you really go into it, it's not like all these guys are actually committing acts of violence. Like that happens just as much outside of, of these incels as it does inside. If not less. Like most of these guys are meek and they just hurt themselves. So that's one thing. People overreact about that. Everybody, you know, it's, it's very common and sort of natural to not understand the other gender and sometimes get frustrated with them. Um, but when it comes to like ideologically thinking women are naturally more twisted or messed up than men, I will say I kind of disagree with that. I think human sexuality and, and what the black pill really is, is, is when you understand you know, how important genetics are, how understand human nature, how sort of unfair things are naturally. And this extends to everybody. You know, this extends to male nature and female nature being sort of twisted. And they feed into each other. The, the, the pathologies, the messed up parts of each of them reinforce each other. It's not that, that any one is worse than the other, but the, but the, the twisted thing about it is that you can kind of you can kind of be led into thinking women are angels. And um, it's possible that's cultural, but it's also possible that that's just sort of the nature of it. You know, men are, men's very, their, their uh, negativity or their impact is very in your face because they're, uh, they're dominant. The, the testosterone, it's aggressive, it's right there. It's uh, forceful. Women is more passive aggressive. You know, you, you learn about these like little, little twisted, fucked up things in the, in the, uh, that women do. And you're like, oh, wow. But you know, men, we all know what men, why men are bad. You know, they, they grape, they shoot people. You know, it's not like women are going around shooting schools or doing any of this kind of shit. So the, the, the negativity of men is right in your face, but the negativity of women is like, it's more subversive. You look into these things, you're like, oh, what? All these girls, are, you know, low-key have these weird fantasies, and um, what else? Like, they, uh, they keep on sending messages to all these serial... Like, they, they, all, these, all these broads watch um, these, like, serial killer documentaries. All these girls get, get uh, super into serial killers. Um, this whole dark triad thing where guys with all these... Um, very high, high in narcissism, high in psychopathy, are more successful with women, Stockholm Syndrome, you look into this kind of stuff, it's like, ooh, this is twisted. And you just start to learn that human, there's just a lot of dark stuff going on with human nature, and it's not fair, and humans are fallen, and twisted, and um, dating is not some magical thing where if you have a good personality and you do the right thing, you're just going to, Someone's going to magically come along and there's someone for everyone. All, these, all this is a farce. It's genetics. That's what you're valued for. Your personality, how people perceive you is largely based off your genetics. You'll be perceived better. You'll get more reinforcement. You'll want to work harder. Matthew effect. You're born at the bottom. You get pushed lower. You're born at the top. You get pushed higher. That's how it is, my baby. That's how the cookie crumbles. This ain't, this ain't Disney. This ain't, you know, this ain't DreamWorks. <clears throat> what was I talking about? Yeah, so, so the idea that, that women are naturally worse than men, I, I would disagree with that. You know what I mean? I think if you, I would forgive you if you look into this stuff and you become misanthropic in general and that you kind of feel disillusioned with humanity as a whole. But women in particular, I mean... They're the, the negative sides of both genders are two sides of the same coin, and it's just um, just what it is. They're both bad. You know, you have to be black-pilled about both male and female nature. <clears throat> but what this message seems to be talking about, um, 
is that particularly now it's it's environmental like through social media through these simps through possibly gynocentrism specifically now modern women well, postmodern women gen z women are particularly what like unbearable i don't know i don't know what to say and this you know there's i would I wouldn't immediately disagree with this <laughs> if I'm keeping it real. I think there's a conversation to be had here. Um, but here's the thing. I think a similar thing applies. I think, you know, uh, you look at these women, you say they're narcissistic. You say they're obsessed with their looks. You say um, they're so inundated with options, they become very egoic. What else? What, what other kind of things you're saying? They don't care about having a good personality. Um, your interactions with them are negative. They seem very stuck up. This kind of thing. Toxic personalities, not modest. You see all that. And I mean, yeah, we all have eyes. We can observe these things, you know. If I if I think about like um, those nice... Uh, in this neighborhood, just these these nice old black ladies that call you sugar and honey and make cornbread and have nice hugs that smell like um, those, those old perfumes. I When I look at like a, a tw uh, 18 or 20-year-old girl, I simply cannot imagine them growing up to be that kind of person. You know what I mean? I feel like that's a, that's a dead breed of kind of like chubby older women that call you... Um, that call you like food, I that call you uh, spices and shit. They'll be like, "Come over here, cinnamon." That's not that's not gonna exist in thirty years. I don't know what these girls. They're just gonna be psycho when they're fifty. Off after all those, after all them drugs and abortions, and um, after getting all those abortions. <clears throat> this video is coming off like a little wild. I feel like I'm being extra edgy. I'm a super nice guy. I don't even have any political opinions even. Like I agree with you. I'm like totally I'm like totally cool. So I just want to get that out there for real. But um yeah, so what 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 you're saying is the 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 modern all this all these things are making these these broads a little a little kooky, a little bit uh a little bit nasty. And this right here, I mean, <laughs> there's something to talk about here. But here's the deal. Again, I think there's two sides to it. It's just that the, the, way, that, the way that new media has impacted men and women, it, there's, there's, a, there's a divergence. Men will be addicted to things like video games, be addi addicted to less social things. So... All these things on the internet that are a little bit less social, playing video games, doing this kind of thing. And women will be addicted to the social media because this is how they are. Women women are always more socially adept than men on average. The part of the brain, like the, uh, the lateral parietal cortex or some shit like that is bigger. Women, their presence is like social capital, much less women have autism. They're just more naturally socially calibrated than men. And women work with people, men work with things. We know these, we know this, we know this kind of stuff. So women will be, addic be addicted to the social media. Men will be addicted to the video games. The men will become more meek. They'll become more um, inwards looking, more introverted, I guess. I don't know. The women uh, will just like gain more and more social capital. Like if you were to look at the snap scores, I think I've said this before, the snap score of your average guy and your average girl. For any boomers watching this, there's an app called Snapchat where people just send messages and your snap score is how many messages you've sent and received and how many friends you have. It's like all these things compiled. So girls will have, you know, 500,000, a million hundreds of thousands, you know, all this. And guys will have like, if it's a social guy, I'll have some hundreds of thousands, but mostly it'll just be like 50,000, 20,000. And a lot of the, a lot of the incels will just be like in the, you know, the thousands or just not have the app, I guess. So 
yeah, you look into these things, but all, all these things you described about women being more narcissistic, it's fueled by the men. It's fueled by the men who promote this kind of stuff. So it, it's just like an endless cycle of, uh, of this kind of thing where these, these men, in response to new media, they become more kind of alienated. They become more interested in things. They, be, they stay inside longer. And then they become more simpish. They become less, less, uh, less like real men and they start, and they're addicted to whacking and all this stuff and they start reinforcing this kind of stuff. So it's like, who can you really blame? But, but also when you talk about going on no fat for a long time, um, when you do that for a while, like past a month, when you start getting some months on you in the whole realm of not, of not busting, um, what happens is you kind of get like a permanent post-nut clarity almost. You know, you know how after you rub one out or you uh, erupt from your Johnson you get this this wave of what like self awareness of you know you're like the opposite of how you felt fifteen seconds before um very it's like you're illumined kind of you start seeing things you start doing seeing the cosmic algorithm and <clears throat> if if you ever get into the situation where you hook up with some random broad or you do this kind of thing, that post not clarity hits like a truck and you're like, oh, I don't want to be around this person. What am I, what have I done? This also happens, you know, after you beat off to something, you were like, oh, wow. And you're looking at those uh, two furries with animated Johnsons and doing all this crazy stuff on your screen and you're like, oh, Lord, <laughs> I'm going straight down to the debt. I'm going straight down with, uh, with Beezlebub in the afterlife because I simply I simply could not refrain from touching my Johnson to this kind of material and you go oh shucks what have I done when you go on no fat for quite a long time it's almost like this feeling becomes a little bit permanent and you're when you look at women you you don't look at them the same lustful way you've now controlled your lust you've now controlled your you've, you've gained dominance over your in your base nature your primal instincts and you look at all women uh, like you looked like like uh, like you're in this clarity state. And this is just how I feel. This is just like a little theory I have. Um, nothing nothing to be taken too seriously. But you look at all women like that, and, and when you look at them like this, and I could definitely see how you see a lot of. Zoomer women, and you really now understand how little they actually have to offer in terms of somebody you'd actually want to spend your time with if you weren't wanting to uh, use them as an object for sexual pleasure. You know? I could definitely see how you look at them in that state and go, oh, like, who are you really? You know, what are you, what are you? Are, is there anything, you know? Like, you're, you're not a good person. <laughs> you're, no, you're no longer being tricked by your Johnson, so you see things how they are. You go, oh, th these people don't have anything to really offer me, do they? <clears throat> so I could see that. And, yeah, that's just what it is. I had something else to say. Let me pause. So, yeah, I guess um, what I would say is just looking at one gender in isolation and um, disliking how they act or criticizing how they act is fair, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense because um, 
it, men act the way they do based on how women act, and women act the way they do based on how men act. And they're inseparable. <clears throat> so you, you really can't detach them from each other, de- detach responsibility. You know, it's just a constant flux. It's just that women are the benefactors of, of these things. You know, they're in a position of power now that men don't have. So that's why it's, that's why it's tough. They have all the social capital, and uh, which they kind of always had, but now they they have their own actual capital as well. In in certain cities, they out earn men. So you just get this this total uh, imbalance, basically. Um, so that's kind of the issue. And when you talk about um, women only caring about their looks, men do that too now. That's that's what this whole looks maxing thing, um, you know, mogging, all this stuff, going the, the gym culture. I mean, men men are doing the exact same thing, and you it's it, you can't even blame these people because that's all that's valued. There's no community. There's no, like, you know. And, I mean, it, it's it's really obnoxious and annoying, all this shit. You know, I used to be into it. Um, the attitude with men now is, is just as bad, you know. You, it, because there's such a, there's such a, um, the, the, data, the relationship market is so bad twice as many single women, single men as single women. And, um, it's just like such a competitive, uh, nature and, and everybody's looking at like, who's mogging who and everybody, there's no, it's just absurd. Now everybody's looking at each other like stats. It's true. It's kind of dystopian. It's, it's heading there. It's getting so ridiculous. You know, we, we can't go back to this time when, you know, men were valued for their resources and for their presence in a community. Um, and when they just, they didn't mew or go to the gym, they just worked a hard day's work of labor and they wash their face with the same soap they use to wash their nuts. And uh, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm not saying it's like necessarily gay to do skincare, but it's just getting way out of hand, dude. But, but what can you say? This is what matters now. <sighs> so, I mean, you can't blame me for feeling a little disillusioned, you know? Something's got to turn around. But again, all, all this stuff is like, it's based off the internet, you know? If you, if you just really try to spend time with real people in the real world, it's a, it's a lot better. You'll find people who aren't infected like this. They're out there. It's just, it's just tough because these, uh, these type of places are going away and uh, they're hard to find and hard to integrate yourself and whatever. Anything else that daddy wanted to say? Yeah, man, guys are guys are caring about looks just as much, it, which is which is very feminine. Um, you start to see the whole theory where people say men are getting feminized and women are getting masculinized. It's like, well, kinda, you know, dudes caring this much about you know. Dudes uh, chewing jaw gum and rubbing ice on their face and fucking analyzing their, you know, it's, it's, it's only, it's not that long before a lot of these dudes probably already do use like eyebrow fill or start using makeup. Like it's, I mean, it's not, it's not to say looks maxing is like completely useless it could even though ultimately it comes down to your genetics or whatever but you could do stuff but it's just like it 
the fact that we that we're even talking about this or doing this in the first place means it's already like kind of fucked. You just, you, I guess you just do what's best for you so you can have a decent life in this hellscape. <laughs> like, whatever. Gerby out. Fuck y'all.